Dear colleagues, hello. Thank you very much for your kind invitation. The subject of my topic is Zip poem. So Zenker's diverticulum is an acquired sac-like outpouching at the pharyngoesophageal junction. It has been associated with reduced compliance of the upper esophageal sphincter and with increased intrabolus pressure. Patients usually complain of dysphagia, regurgitation, chronic calf, hoarseness, halitosis, throat cleaning, choking, malnutrition, or even pneumonia. And up to 2016, we had three procedures for Zenkter's diverticulum. We had flexible endoscopic septotomy, which is the most commonly applied procedure, fast, relatively easy procedure with acceptable efficacy that can be repeated if necessary and which is the procedure of choice for frail patients. However, it has a recurrence in up to 10 to 30 percent of cases and a 6 percent risk of perforation. Open surgery is applied in few patients, has a high success rate, but the morbidity is pretty high. Rigid endoscopic septotomy is the procedure that has been applied by our colleagues in T and has the main concept with flexible endoscopic septotomy. The difference is that it is a little bit more efficient based on meta-analysis. It has a recurrence rate of about 11%. And we have to take in mind that it is not always feasible because the endoscope is rigid and in patients with a tight hypopharynx, it is not easy or feasible to access the septum. However, in 2016, we have a new procedure that has been presented by a group from China. Dr. Li and his, and his colleagues have presented an innovative procedure that was finally called Zipon. So this procedure borrows the concepts of POEM. The endoscopist performs two, ta two, two tunnels along the two sides of the septum. The first tunnel is along the esophageal side and the other tunnel is along the diverticular side. Once we have created the two tunnels, we have exposed the septum and now we can proceed to full thickness myotomy, which is the crucial part and the important point of this procedure. Once we've done, we're done, we close the entrance point with clips. Since 2016, a variated and modified version of zip poem has been presented. The initial concept included a mucosotomy two centimeters proximally to the septum at the level of the hypopharynx. However, our team and another team from Italy, we have presented a variation of this technique with mucosotomy directly at the level of the septum. In this way, we can gain some time, have easier access to the two tunnels and then close more easily the mucosotomy. So the concept includes a mucosotomy at the level of the septum, creation of the entrance, a closure of the septum, creation of tunnels, this is one of the two tunnels, and then complete myotomy of the septum. This is the final bundle of the septum and then we close the entrance point. Let me show you a video. So this is the case of an 83-year-old patient with a two centimeter incised diverticulum. The first step is to isolate the septum. We do some gosal injection with liquids similar with the ones that we use for ESD or POEM. And then once we created the entrance with our knife, we try to push our cap, rotate the endoscope and push it in the opening. The entrance has to be about one centimeter in size. It hasn't, we don't need to make a big hole. Once we have created the entrance, then we have to uh, identify the septum. So you'll see the septum here. Now, we have to create the first tunnel on the left side, which is the diverticular side and then create a second tunnel from the other side. A very, very crucial step is 
to dissect very, very close to the muscle. In a similar way, like in point, we're trying to work close to the muscle, eventually damage the muscle instead of damaging the mucosa, which has to stay intact. So we go deep, as deep as necessary, until we see fat or the last bundles of fibers. Here we see fat. Now we move towards the esophageal side, where we have to create another tunnel. Plus water or saline, and we work again close to the septum. We don't we don't dissect close to the mucosa. Otherwise, we will have mucosotomy and then fistula, leak, mediastinitis. So here we have created two tunnels, and it's time for action. We cut the bundles of the muscle and use the same knife or this type of knife, which is a scissor scissor type knife with insulated extremities. And we go as deep as necessary until we see fat or until we see the last bundles of muscle here. This is fat. And then we cut the remaining fibers and we close our mucosotomy with clips. That's it. For this procedure, we can use a standard endoscope, but it's better to use a therapeutic gastroscope with water jet and large channel. Slim, endos slim endoscopes are uh, very useful for tight spaces. A cap is necessary, the solution for injection, a variety of ESD knives, depending on our preference, regulation forceps, clips of various sizes. And I would like here to mention that Clips with short stem or clips with smaller size are very useful in tight spaces. The procedure is done under general anesthesia, although some authors have described it with sedation. CO2 is very, very important in low flow, no insufflation of air, and a water pump with normal saline is important. Now, there are several settings depending on your preference. You can use the settings that we usually use for point. The post-procedural care includes meal per mouth for 24 hours, an esophagram with gastrography on the next day, clear liquid for 24 hours, and a soft diet for seven days. The patient will need antibiotics and the hospitalization will be for about 24 to 48 hours. What do we already know about the performance of Zipon? We have six retrospective studies, including 200 patients. I tried to summarize all the results in this table. The overall technical success was about 97%, which is very good. The clinical success is about 96%, which is excellent. The duration of the procedure was between 40 minutes up to one hour. And the hospital, day, hospital stay was between one and two days. Now, what about adverse events? We had some leaks, abscesses, but only one patient in about 200 cases needed surgery. This was due to a microsotomy that was not clipped correctly. Emphysema is not considered a complication. It's normal. And if you use low flow CO2, nowhere, this will be uh, not, it's, it will be rare and not a major problem. Finally, I have to mention that among all these cases, there were cases of Zenkers that were treated priorly with other treatments and the authors were succeeded to treat these recurrences with Zipoin. In addition, Zipoin was also successful for Zenkers with short septa. So the place of Zipoin among the list of all these procedures is uh, a novel procedure with high efficacy that achieves full thickness myotomy, complete myotomy, with a minimum risk of perforation or medicinitis, as far as we respect the basic rule not to damage the mucosa from the, uh, from the esophageal or the diverticular side. However, we need general anesthesia. This is a demanding technique. The cost is higher. It is certainly more invasive. And there is a concern about the remaining pseudoseptum. So after the procedure, there is a septum that remains that does not contain muscle, but just mucosa. This will disappear, but in few patients, it will persist, particularly in patients with large diverticula. In these cases, we just need to take the patients after a few months and just cut 
this mucosa with our knife. The pitfalls is that we try we have to try to avoid losing our cat in the in the in the tunnel. We have to avoid using air inflation. We're close to the septum. Pay attention with small diverticula and close the mucosotomy correctly. In case of fibrotic septum, we can start with classic septotomy and then switch to zip one. Finally, in case of pseudoseptum, just get it. In conclusion, ZIPOEM is a novel procedure with very good results in terms of efficacy. The drawbacks are the need for general anesthesia and the need for expertise. Also, the cost of the materials is a little bit higher when we compare it with other procedures. And of course, we need more studies that will be soon available, I think next year, that will compare CPOM with other standard techniques. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Okay, uh, so Georges, thank you very much for this uh, overview lecture, which even made the system break down. Um, I know that my co-chairman, Brigitte, is a, a great fan of the conventional technique. So if I'm trying to take her part, in being a little bit provocative, uh, looking at one of your last slides, I can say, well, 95% the conventional technique has short term anyway, but you listed quite a lot of complications, even in the treatment naive patients. So what, how, how would you defend yourself? So uh, I'm very aware of the complications and uh, you have to understand that all these papers come from doctors who started for the first time to perform the poem. So there is a learning curve. And my opinion is prior to start the poem, it's good to have experience with ESD or poem in order to avoid mucosotomies, in order to avoid damage of the mucosa layer. So obviously the learning curve is higher. Now in terms of complications, if we don't damage the mucosa, there is no much complication to consider. Uh, we have to work close to the septa, even damage the septa during the uh, tunneling. And if we don't damage the surrounding mucosa, we will not have any complication. Emphysema is not a complication. But I guess that the main problem is to close the tract. And have you never seen a structure after uh, um, do, uh, uh, placing the, the clips? No. I, feel, uh, like I have no. Huh? No, I have not experienced the stricture, but I have to mention that they had more difficulty to close the mucosotomy than to perform the procedure itself. So I have experienced difficulty. I have experienced difficulties due to the lack of sufficient space in order to position the clips. So that's why I mentioned that sometimes we may use a smaller endoscope, a, an endoscope with a smaller caliber and clips with a shorter stem in order to have sufficient space to position them. And another tip is that changing the position of the patient from the supine to the lateral position may help us to position the clips in an easier fashion. What do you mean when you tell me we should uh, use a smaller endoscope, which uh, how yes. many yes. uh, I mean a standard endoscope. Yes, okay, okay instead of a therapeutic gastroscope that I mainly use for POEM or for ESD. Okay, there, there are some questions coming in. One is technical and relates to, uh, I think you were alluding to that, uh, if you cut very nicely, cut all the muscularis and then yes. there is still a mucosal flap, mm -hmm. um, what to do? And the other was, question... The, yes. the, the other question is, is it, are we really uh, far enough with our data to recommend this as a standard? So uh, the first, I was expecting the first question and I searched the, lit the literature specifically for that question and only few papers mentioned that they had recurrence of uh, dysphagia due to the pouch that remained. So uh, usually the, mem the membrane that remains uh, disappears. But if you have a large diverticulum, may you need a second session that very easily you have to cut as in standard Zenker's uh, diverticulotomy, this remaining uh, mucosa. Now in your second question, uh, in the recent 
uh, guidelines by ESG over the regarding the motility disorders. The poem is characterized as experimental, so I think that it can be performed in tertiary centers that have experts in poem and ESD, but it's not yet the standard of care. Okay, thank you very much. I think that was clear. So uh, we have to wait for the studies. And we also have to say with set poem, we are probably still in the honeymoon phase. Still, uh, we have converted all our cases unless they're very large and we are starting to see recurrences. So I'm not so sure how long the honeymoon will last. And I can only encourage everybody to join one of the randomized trials. One is headed by Michal Kaminsky. And uh, I think experienced centers should try to find out. And as for me, I have to admit, I've never fully understood centers anyway. So I'm uh, curious uh, what will happen. Brigitte, a final question before we move on? Uh, no, I'm only a last one. Maybe what is your personal feeling? You, do you think that uh, the z boeing can replace the other technique totally? Yes. Uh, what? No, we don't have the data, but your personal feeling, how is it? Yes. Uh, I love this procedure, but this is not a reason to perform it. So Zenk, standard Zenkers diverticulotomy is a pretty fast procedure. In 15 minutes, you may resolve the problem. And I think for a frail patient, this will remain the the, the procedure of choice. Now, for a young patient, where you want to uh, give him the most, the less uh, risk of recurrence, maybe the poem has to be tried by experts. Okay. Okay, thanks very much. So we learn, we sometimes love the tough things, which nicely leads us to the uh, next presentation. It's a great pleasure to welcome Muin Kashab in Europe for the ESGE days, and he will talk about the next third space, maybe it's the fourth space already, about poet and stare and uh, explain us what all what all that means. Muen.